you observe this third question in this question they are asking us find local maxima local minima many students confuse to understand these things what is local maxima local minima i'll try to explain with the help of a graph you observe this graph this graph attains minimum value at this point right and at this point this graph attains maximum value at this point also the graph attains maximum value you look here at this point graph attains minimum value here what happening if you observe the maximum value this graph attains maximum value at more than one point when we discuss maximum minimum of this function in this interval please observe on x axis in this interval suppose in this zone in this interval if we discuss maximum minimum of this function this is the maximum value right at the same time when we discuss maximum of this function on its entire domain this is maximum this is also maximum we call this as local maximum and this we call it as absolute maximum i hope you are understanding right in the same way this graph attains minimum value at more than one point this is minimum value of this function when we discuss minimum value in this interval definitely this is the minimum value when we discuss on its entire domain this attains minimum value at many points so these are all local minima we call them as local minima in this local minimum values this is the least value no? we call this as absolute minima and in this graph you observe this is absolute minimum value and this is absolute maximum value and these are what these are local maxima local minima sometimes local maxima local minima are also absolute maxima and absolute minima i hope you are understanding so they given here uh, around 8 bits are there in all these 8 bits if local maximum local minimum values exist we need to find okay to do this problem we will use second derivative test you observe this function f of x equal to x square we need to find local maximum and local minimum of this function to find local maxima and local minima of this function we will use second derivative test what is second derivative test which function maximum value minimum values you want to find we will take that function as f of x in step 1 we will calculate f dash of x we will differentiate the given function to get f dash of x after calculating f dash of x we will equate f dash of x to 0 after equating f dash of x equal to 0 you will get x values it may be one value or more than one value after getting these x values we will calculate f double dash of x we will how to get this f double dash of x you differentiate f dash of x if you differentiate f dash of x you will get f double dash of x after calculating f double dash of x we will calculate f double dash of a in place of x this a value we will substitute we will calculate f double dash of a f dash of b also we will calculate f double dash of a if f double dash of a is greater than 0 then we say that f of x is having minimum value if f double dash of a is greater than 0 then we say that f of x is having minimum value at x equal to a if f double dash of a is less than 0 then we say that f of x is having maximum value at x equal to a now we need to find local maxima and local minima of this function first they only given that uh, this function is f of x what is step 1 in step 1 we will calculate f dash of x okay you calculate f dash of x derivative of x square derivative of x square is what derivative of x square is 2x this step is over now we will equate f dash of x to 0 okay if f dash of x equal to 0 that means 2x equal to 0 when 2x equal to 0 what is x from this x equal to 0 divided by 2 so x equal to 0 now you got only one x value for this f dash of x equal to 0 now you calculate f double dash of x okay f double dash of x 
how you will get f double dash of x? You just differentiate the given function, you will get f double dash of x. Okay. Derivative of 2x is what? Derivative of 2x is 2. Okay. After calculating f double dash of x, you calculate f double dash of a. a means after equating f dash of x equal 0, what x values you got? From that, we can get a value, b value. Here, a value is 0. You calculate f double dash of 0. See, in this, if any x is there, in place of x, we'll write 0. Suppose if f double dash of x is 2x, f double dash of 0 means 2 into 0. But actually, f double dash of x is 2. f double dash of x is constant function. So, f double dash of 0 is also what? f double dash of 0 is also 2. Not only f double dash of 0, f double dash of 100 is also 2 only because it is a constant function. I hope you have good grip on functions chapter, right? So, what is f double dash of 1000? f double dash of 1000 also 2 only, okay? So, here uh, we calculated f double dash of a. What you got greater than 0 or less than 0? You got 2 here. 2 is greater than 0. When f double dash of a is greater than 0, we say that function is having minimum value. Here, sometimes local minimum value will be absolute minimum value only, right? Here, actually, we got minimum value. So, what I'll write here, f of x is minimum. at x equal to 0. If you want to calculate minimum value, how to calculate minimum value? Minimum value is nothing but f of 0. Function is minimum at this point. Na? Minimum value is f of 0. Here f of x is x square. What is f of 0? In place of x, you write 0. f of 0 is 0 square. 0 square is nothing but 0. So, this function attains minimum value at 0 and that minimum value is also 0. See, if graphically, if we observe x square, this uh, f of x, you take it as y. This is of the form x square equal to 4 y. It's a parabola open upward direction. If you draw the graph, you will get like this. You see, it attains minimum value at this point, right? And the minimum value at x equal 0 and minimum value is also 0, 0 comma 0. I hope you are understanding. Now, we need to find local maxima and local minima of this function. Here, given function, they only named it as g of x. So, we know what is second derivative test. In second derivative test, which function they given, we'll differentiate it first. So, you differentiate this, what you will get? g dash of x. What is g dash of x? Derivative of x cube is 3x square minus derivative of 3x. 3 into derivative of x that is nothing but 3. So, derivative of 3x is 3. So, first step is over. I calculated g dash of x. In step 2, we will equate g dash of x to 0 to get x values. So, you equate this g dash of x to 0. If g dash of x equal to 0, then what you will get? 3x square minus 3 equal to 0. From this, what you will get? 3x square equal to 3. So, x square equal to 3 by 3 is 1. So, what you will get? x equal to plus or minus 1. So, you got two x values, x equal to plus 1 or x equal to minus 1. So, you got two x values for this problem. After that, we will calculate g double dash of x. We, how you will get g double dash of x? You differentiate g dash of x, you will get g double dash of x. g double dash of x, you differentiate this 3 into derivative of x square that is 2x 3 into 2x is 6x minus derivative of 3 is 0 so this is 6x i calculated g double dash of x i got 6x so this third step is also over now now we need to calculate g double dash of a g double dash of b that means we need to calculate g double dash of 1 as well as g double dash of minus 1 so, you calculate g double dash of 1. Wherever x is there, in that you put 1 here, what you will get? 6 into 1, that equal to 6. It is greater than 0. See, when g double dash of a is greater than 0, we say that function attains minimum value at that point. So, here what I will write? I will write g of x is minimum x equal to 1. Minimum value is g of 1. 
see this is g of x now in this if you put x equal to 1 we will get g of 1 put x equal to 1 what is g of 1 1 cube minus 3 into 1 that is 1 minus 3 that equal to minus 2 so minimum value so minimum value of g of x is minus 2 see here i am writing only minimum value here because uh, in this case local minima is same as absolute minima so it's not necessary to write local minimum value it is enough to write f of x is minimum at x equal to 1 and that minimum value is minus 2 here this problem is not at over see here we calculated g double dash of 1 only we need to calculate g double dash of minus 1 also now you calculate g double dash of minus 1 in this where x is there there you write minus 1 so what you will get 6 into minus 1 that is minus 6 so g double dash of minus 1 is minus 6 this minus 6 is greater than 0 or less than 0 clearly it is less than 0 right so as it is less than 0 what we say g of x is ah yes when we got g double dash of uh, a is less than 0 we say that g of x is maximum g of x is maximum at x equal to minus 1 and what is the maximum value and the maximum value is g of minus 1 how to get this g of minus 1 this is the given function in that wherever x is there there you write minus 1 so what you will get minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 3 into minus 1 is plus 3 3 minus 1 is what 2 so what we got maximum value is 2 okay so this function g of x equal to x cube minus 3x is having minimum value at x equal to 1 and minimum value is minus 2 at the same time this function is having maximum value at x equal to minus 1 and the maximum value is 2 so in that way we calculated local maxima local minima of given function you do not worry i am not writing local maxima local minima for this problem local minima is the absolute minima local maxima is the absolute maxima i hope you are understanding these problems